interested in a 2D boy? I know, it sounds ridiculous, right? So out of character for me. <laughs> I just collect them. Yes. <laughs> Everyone alive? Thanks, friend. This is so fucking cool! <laughs> Excuse me? Wait! What the fuck is that abomination? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! What? Oh my god, okay, this is simultaneously horrifying and cool as shit, but also horrifying! What the fuck? Okay, goodbye. He gone. I have a stupid joke. <laughs> but he really said... <laughs> Sorry, I was really dumb. <laughs> about and where are you chuckling from oh wait oh no <laughs> i didn't know that would happen <laughs> maybe we'll scoot this like oh why were there two in there what what is happening? Wait. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, stop, please. Um, we're gonna scoot these over. What is happening? <laughs> I'm so confused. There, see? It's, it's, fine. it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're totally fine. Ow. I'm so- I'm definitely not currently dying. It's fine. I'm yeah, dead. Fine. Please You're help fine. me. You're fine. <laughs> what are you doing? You're down fine. There? That's Thank You're you. Fine. <laughs> You're fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> You're fine. It's fine. Oh, I need that. It's Oof. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. <laughs> we're leveled. We're fine. As we're both slowly recuperating health. We're fine. It's fine. <laughs> Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. It's see? fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Not that's important that I need it later, but 0735. 0735. 0735. 0. That? That's bad. Um. I shouldn't open this. They did. They cut it incorrectly too. <laughs> I don't know how you do that, but oh jeez. <laughs> I guess that's when you put too much trust in a part. That's when you cut the cheese incorrectly. <laughs> right. <laughs> With her crush on Alex, and I'm just in front of her face, gonna hand him a bouquet. <laughs> Savage. Cuts, 
Nanti Mr. Carpenter Oh, hi Um, I'm gonna finish reading your emails, okay? Uh, Mr. Carpenter, we have received a report that there is an issue with some black boss. Chill. It's not like it's that freaking confidential. Besides, you don't need it anymore. We have received a report that there is an issue with some black box equipment in the guts, as it never received reached the cargo bay. Um, we were unable to locate Josh Dalton for assistance. Please get back to us at earliest convenience. Do you like? Do you, do you like culture balls? Maybe. It's really cozy, and it has cool colors, like yellow complements blue really well. We got him! <laughs> Hell yeah! First toss! <laughs> I mean, my poor Pokemon, but... <laughs> That's me. Oh. Yes? You're a tiny small boy. What? You're a, you're a blonde athletic lady. <laughs> you're a tiny small boy. Uh, don't mind me. My egg is hatching in the middle of your home. My god. <laughs> it is Shadow of the Colossus. Holy shit. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you, you want some things? I pissed it off. I pissed it off. I pissed it off. <laughs> oh god, it didn't go away! <laughs> I do, but it's not, it's not picking anything up. Okay. Uh, 
Hello! Sorry I look like a hot mess today. I didn't actually properly do my makeup. <laughs> um, let's turn this down. Anyway, also, the eye color, not great, but it's fine. Um, how's everyone doing? Um, I had to stop the stream because I forgot to update all of my stream stuff. Um, like a dummy. I, I fixed it. It's fine. <laughs> I don't, but thank you. <laughs> yeah, this wig just came in today. I just got it from Amazon today. It was literally sitting on the the doorstep. The, the porch step. The apartment front door area. Sure. <laughs> um, I'm actually just going to switch over. Because then I'm smaller, and I feel a little more... Oh, whoa, what's going on with my camera? Hold on. Ew. My filter's not copy over? Uh-oh. Hold on, give me a sec. I messed things up, I suppose. Um... Uh-oh, I don't remember which one I used. Is it this one? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Sure. Why not? Yeah, I'm actually, I'm kind of unhappy with the wig at the current moment because the, the bangs are too long. Um, so, um, I have it back quite a bit, which makes the bangs actually thin. Um, which is unfortunate. The, the, the wig itself is fine. It's just because I have to wear it like this way. I didn't have time to, to trim the bangs. Um, you know, I might actually just switch my wig at this point. I'm thinking about it. It's just the blue is kind of weird with the pink. I'm just going to switch the wig. Hold on. Give me a second. <laughs> then I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Yeah, that's better. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Once I fix the other wig, once I trim the other bangs, it'll be fine. But <laughs> I didn't have time to do it before stream today. So we're going with this. <laughs> Pink doesn't really match the blue. Also, well, now, now of course, but whatever. I'll talk while I'm fixing this. Um, I don't know what the middle, like the, the maybe later thing is in the middle of my screen. Um... It's, uh, it's there. And I'm going to try to, whoops, that's the wrong folder. Um, I'm going to try to, like, see if maybe it goes away in a bit, like, kind of on its own. I don't think it's going to. Um, but we'll see. Sure, like that. Um... Cause I can't actually like click on it. You know, it's probably not gonna go away then. I'll fix it. <laughs> anyway, sorry, this has been incredibly hectic, hasn't it? How's everyone doing? I have new sound alerts. If you would like to see those. I did do the thing. That I said I was going to do. At, at the last second, I added them all in, but... Here we go. Oh, beans! Although my camera still is weird, which is annoying. Oops. It's been, it's been a hectic day, getting ready for stream. I felt, like, behind on everything. 
for some reason. I don't know why. I didn't eat until I literally inhaled two steamy buns, like, on my starting soon screen. So that was probably- <laughs> that probably had something to do with it, for being honest. Whatever. It's fine. We won't worry too much about it. Um, but yeah. It do be that way sometimes. Um, okay, so. Plans for today is hopefully finish the game. Um, we got through um, chapter three last time. Welcome! Sesame Koss is here. Greetings! Welcome to the stream. <laughs> we finally just kind of got, you know, 15 minutes in. Kind of got everything situated. <laughs> um... But yeah, so we're moving into chapter four of five. Um, so we should be finishing the game today. Um, fingies crossed. Um, I don't really know what to expect. I kind of feel like the last chapter was like almost avoidant of the main story. Like it didn't really give us much information until the very, very end as far as actually main story goes. Um, I feel like it was essential for, like, character development story stuff, but for the actual, like, game story, it felt like it didn't really do anything. Um, and we only have two chapters for it to, to catch up on, on doing that. Um, so I guess we're gonna see how that goes today. <laughs> I feel, yeah. It is, it just be that way sometimes. How's your day going, though? Or how did it go? I guess it's kind of the end of the day now, huh? <laughs> I wake up at 1 to 2 p.m. most days, so this is mo this is morning for me. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, whoops. Hold on. Just a sec. Male typhon for Gabe's death and plenty more. All right. Bring it with you. I'll meet you in an hour. Thanks. Talk soon. Citizens of Haven Springs, we are live at the Spring Festival. One final reminder to head over to the Lathe flower cart and grab a rose before they're gone. At Haven's inaugural Spring Festival, eligible women of good stock and birthing age would offer up roses in order to attract a mate. What can I say? History is weird. No kidding. <laughs> Thankfully, we've lost the mating stuff, but kept the roses. And if you do have a special right? someone in mind, a rose is a great way to say you care. And an even better way to say, hey, look, a rose. Sounds fun. Is giving away a rose something I'd do? I don't know, is it? You're the main character. Maybe. I can decide downstairs. Make sure she answered me. That was kind of weird. Weird timing. Oh, are those new? For now, I'll grab the USB stick. Is that always like that? Um. Okay, well, let's look around. Happy Spring Festival, Gabe. I remember trying to pregame as a teenager and just going to sleep instead. It's very tempting to curl up with this all night instead of leaving my apartment. What a mood. Teenagers, T-O, teenagers only. <laughs> what kind of rating is that? <laughs> I'm thinking this will make an excellent after festival snack. Then you should put it in the fridge? I think I'll stick with Minesweeper from now on. The two kind. <laughs> I wish I could have helped Shar. But taking her pain away didn't feel right. I was gonna say, her outfit's really cute! Looks like the festival is already in full swing. I'm pretty nervous. Me too! Pretty, but not very Gabe. Why does he have this? Probably... Maybe from Charlotte or something? Guessing? I wonder if I can, like, find that, that puzzle piece at some point. That'd be kind of neat. 
<laughs> I hear gay? I've been meaning to tell Jed about the sink, but I'm afraid he'll try to teach me how to fix it myself. Pants! Don't worry. I'll come back to you. <laughs> it does feel that way when you put on a skirt a lot of the time, if you're not used to wearing skirts. Oh, hearing gay instead of Gabe. I've been playing more these past few weeks than the last few years. Feels nice. Cool. Good for you. So is this thing just decoration or am I supposed to use it. I mean, that depends on what you want to do with it. <laughs> the world really doesn't deserve Thaynor. Uh, don't worry about me. The drive down south with my dad always makes me feel better. We have a lot of plans for the summer. He said we could go camping and make ultra, ultra s'mores. S'mores but with ice cream on top. Secret family recipe. Well, you just told me the recipe. <laughs> the LARP was amazing. You really are good. A good... Oh, you are a really good bard. And hope we can do it again soon. I already have more ideas to fill out your backstory. Banshees! Thanks, Alex. Ethan. Oh. Wholesome. Oh, it's Shushu! Will you be my date to the festival, Shushu? I love Shushu. I'm about ready to start my own list. Oh yeah, this this was we looked at this last time. I've got a lot riding on you. Small, inanimate object. <laughs> You're gonna take Steph, right? Obviously, yeah. Okay. If we get the chance... Which Time to head downstairs. I'm sure it will. Um, if we get the chance, I'm gonna give the rose to Steph. Make it as painless as possible. Thanks. <laughs> no spoilers, but spoilers. That's the first page, lol. <laughs> Uh, live at Spring Festival, swing by for raffle tickets, maybe with some merch. Make sure to stick around and keep your eyes on my safe. We have something special brewing, wink, wink. Steph did a really great job putting all that together. For the thing, for the LARP. Um, I had a blast. Me too, we should definitely do it again. Splendid work, Stephanie. Is that what it was? Still banned. <laughs> okay. Thanks everyone for the excellent spring fest chili cook-off. My mouth is still burning. Killer chili, Mike. Make sh oh, remind me of the recipe for the lantern. You wish. <laughs> I am so full. <laughs> Guess the festival started a while ago. Chili cook-off, live music, jelly bean guessing contest, a raffle, food, drink, and a bonfire. Chili, chili beer and jelly beans, the ingredients for another great festival. <laughs> Um. Hmm. Weird. Okay. Um. It looks like we don't have anything else new to look at. Um. We can though pick her outfit, so we can see if we want to keep the black or if we want to change it. Oh, there's a tiger one. I mean, I'm partial to the tiger one. Or we could match. <laughs> I think we have to match. <laughs> it's um not loading in very well. Are they all gonna look like that? I, mean, I know my textures are low, like my game, but that's just sad to look at. We'll match. We'll we'll do the, the matchy matchy today with Alex. <laughs> I love that. Okay, um, can we go upstairs? I should really head down to the park. Okay, fine. Fine, fine. Alto the Bard will ride again. Alrighty, I guess that's that. Out we go. Oh, our cute little pink shoes. Loading times. 
I, I tried to like start my laptop up like kind of early-ish to kind of help it like warm up. Um, it's still struggling. Also, it looks like my um my KBs are not great today. My kilobits. Test, test. Check, check. Wow. Check. It's, yeah, it's dying. Holy shit! You own a skirt? Steph. Hey, guys. <laughs> Happy first spring fest. Thanks. I got a hold of Pike. <coughs> He'll be here soon. <laughs> Once he sees what's on that stick, it's over. Awkward. Hence the celebration. I think we've all earned the right to enjoy ourselves a little tonight. The band's coming on soon. You'd better be front and center. Joy? Oh, Rad. Do you need help setting up for the show? Nah, it's all good. We're almost there. I have to run back to the trailer. Go be a normal person for a while. Can't make any promises. That's so fun. Text me when it's ready. Okay. If I wanted to give away a rose, Steph and Ryan would definitely be on my list. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> the fact that Typhon Mining literally turns off the, the comments for every single post, like, that's more telling than letting people eviscerate you in the comments. Time to enjoy the festival. Because that means you know that you deserve it. Oh, he's happy. It happened last year. Yep. It's been a hell of a I month. I remember it clear as day. But this makes it all worthwhile. Jed loves this town so much. It's inspiring. 232. 233. Hello? 234. Are you counting? Around 10 or 11 p.m. No. The red one was 234. Just all of the conversations going on in the background. It's a little overwhelming. Wow. This is a beautiful model. I made it. But anyway, he comes racing out of the diner, bowled over a couple of tables along the way. I see him hauling ass toward the dock, and I get on after him because I know what he's aiming for. And sure as hell, this son of a bitch jumps right off the end of the dock and into the water. Smack. Belly flop. And the poor bastard is so drunk, he forgot he doesn't know how to swim. <laughs> So I jump in there after him. Took a minute, but I dragged his ass back He's to so, dry like, land into and we his story. Him an ambulance just to be sure. He was fine though. So then I gotta spend the rest of the night soaking wet, which doesn't bother me none. But everybody keeps offering me a bunch of goddamn towels. <laughs> Next morning, he shows up at my door with a box of chocolates. Chocolates! God knows why he thought that characters. was the right token of gratitude. But, in all fairness, <laughs> I ate the whole damn box. Best I ever had. At least they were good chocolates. Good story. I don't think this thing is checking IDs. Nobody tell Pike. Hi. Another year, another prize gift card for yours truly to keep. I'm such a little devil. Really? Come on, Jellybean Lady. That's not right. <sighs> this game is so demoralizing. Why do I do this to myself? Why do you hmm. do this to yourself? Maybe I can help him somehow. Hi. Oh, hey. Nice to see you. You're taking this Jellybean thing very seriously. Yeah, because the prize is a $100 gift card. Chrissy's been all anxious ever since she got lost. So I thought I could oh, get her a guy. bunch of treats. Which is really embarrassing, saying it out loud. <laughs> Not at all. That's sweet. Maybe I can help. Oh, for real? Are you good at this? Oh, no. How many jelly beans do you think there are? I'm horrible at these. This is impossible, right? Um. 
I've never seen anyone so focused on a jelly bean jar. She's definitely hiding something behind that smile. I mean, she's probably gonna like... Wait, can I not help now? Oh, did I mess that up? Uh-oh. Oh, no, I can't... I can't talk to him. It said space, though. I thought I could, like... Look in the... Okay. I guess I messed that up. That sucks. Nab. Nab. Okay, well, we have that in our pocket now. Even though we don't have pockets. <laughs> oh. Charlotte's over here. I don't really want to talk to her. Piss her off. But... I love that the radio station broadcasts live from the park. Right? <laughs> oh! It almost makes me feel like a tiny Coachella. <laughs> <laughs> That's Super so cute. Oh, hi, Val. They even looped you into participating, huh? Aww. Uh, Audley's Traveling Circus and its crown jewel, the Black Bees, toured the United States in the 1930s and early 1940s before P. Audley's untimely demise here in Haven Springs, Colorado. This ill-fated performance lingered in Haven's history for decades after, and whispers of the beast remain even today. The crown jewel of Audley's Traveling Circus was known as the Black Beast, likely a melanistic color variant of the Panthera Onca. Onca? Onca? Um... Witness accounts, however, defy the traditional understanding of the species given its unusually large size and unnatural longevity. The Black Beast was scheduled to appear at a show in Haven Springs on July 27, 1944. That night, an incident during the performance allowed the Black Beast to escape into the mountain wilds, killing several performers in the process. Nowadays, hunters, hikers, and the adventurers at heart still report sightings of a large shadow stalking the mountainsides of Haven Springs. <laughs> Oops. That's cute. The black beast. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh. Let's just uh, jog on over here. Hi. This is awesome. Favorite time of the year, by far. That kind of enthusiasm is infectious. Especially for me. Yeah, especially for you. <laughs> that kind of enthusiasm oh. is infectious. Just Especially for me. You sit at the bonfire. Toasty. So this is that whole communal gathering thing everyone's always going on about. Is that all we're going to think about? Yep. It? Oh, okay. I get it. Is that all we're going to think about it? Okay. <laughs> we'll get up. It's hard to tell when they're done thinking. <laughs> I guess Riley is feeling sentimental tonight. But I haven't seen her around. Where is she? I just want to take a second to say how wonderful Haven really is. Nights like this always remind me how lucky I am to call this place home. No other place would have come close. Smiley face. You're not so bad yourself. Kissy face. Heart. <laughs> um, was that the new one? Oh, okay. Sure. Are those people that I can talk to? Probably not. Oh, Mr. Lantern. I love what you've done with your bar. So then, where's the after party this year? After God. party? I just hope Come Riley on. is doing all Young right. Young man like oh, yourself. No. You must know what, what the happened to Riley. Is. Honestly, I'm getting pretty bushed. I can have Colin in a night soon. My goodness. What is this town coming to? Used to be that the spring festival wasn't complete till everyone was either asleep in the park or in someone else's bed. Must have been pretty wild back in your day. My day? I'm talking about last year. Hi, Eleanor. 
Good evening, dear. Hey, so where's Riley? I haven't seen her around. Well, she's got a lot going on right now. I think she'd rather keep to herself tonight. Hmm. Okay. That was odd. I wonder if there's something she's not telling me. The decorations really turned out beautifully. It must have been a huge amount of work. It's worth it. So, we doing shots tonight or what? Of course. Body shots? Who's going first? Just kidding. <laughs> or am I? <laughs> I better get going. Okay, hey, bye. Sounds like Ryan is ready for me. You too. I better head back. There's no graceful way to sample everything on this table. Is there? No. This oh, cube is delivered so still. Yeah. Necessary vodka delivery system. Hi, Steph. Um, let's, let's speak a little bit. Hey, Steph. <laughs> the music stopped. Here, uh, rosé. Well, I guess rosé is actually a thing, so it's not that. It's a rose. Yep. This <laughs> is for you. Yep. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. Of course I am. Bashful give? Dude, thank you so much. Don't blame the This totally makes my night. <laughs> I'm glad. Aww. Hey, could we meet up after the show tonight? I actually have some pretty big news to share. She said mysteriously. <laughs> <laughs> of course. She said Speaking mysteriously. Speaking of, Ryan should be done any minute. Meet me there? Yeah. Sure. Yay! The ship is sailing! Oh, there's apple bobbing? Not Doing this takes a certain type of person, and I am not that person. <laughs> exactly! Oh, the drum set's happy! <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! Hey, thanks. Uh, man, <laughs> this show rules. <laughs> It's something. Anyway, I'm Izzy. That's Steph. We're drugstore makeup from Seattle. We've got um, merch. Dude, count me in. I'm dying. Nuevas. Two faced bitch. Weird though. Yeah, conversation earlier today. Weird. Oh well. Um, speak. <laughs> right? Hey. Oh, hey. Just in time. I'm here. So, who's playing? Yours truly. Seriously? That's awesome! I mean, who else would it have oh, been? Wait, who else? <laughs> Who else is playing? <laughs> I hate you both. I saw I that coming from a mile away. <laughs> oh, what's that? Who said anything about missing out? Nobody, but only because we didn't give you the opportunity. <laughs> This is going to be awesome. Trust me. Sure. 
Um, we've never played together before, and uh, <laughs> anyway, sorry if this sucks. <laughs> Sorry if this sucks. Fuck it. What are we even playing? Oh my god, please load in some hair. Oh. It's one of these scenes. look happy yeah there's that at least <laughs> like we don't even know what her singing voice sounds like that's so dumb <sighs> right my day was fine a little rushed and hectic but fine <laughs> How was your day? <laughs> like, they could have... Great show. <laughs> Rip. Oh, hi. I was horrible to you earlier. Yeah. You really weren't. Yeah, she was. Really? Then I fucked up because I was trying pretty hard to be horrible to you. <laughs> I was so excited about you coming to Haven. In my mind, the way I built it up, we were gonna be best friends. <laughs> I wish. I mean, I don't think. I think it's kind of the moment's passed. You. We'll just we'll hang out here with a while. It's fine, even though taking things a good bit to, to load in in the background. It's fine. <laughs> it cracks me up. Like, I know that it's doing it for, like, performance sake, but the fact that it loads in every single time you cut, it comes back into frame, it's just, it, it's funny to me. <laughs> Alright, we're heading out. Hey. <clears throat> oh, no, we're not. You okay? No. But... You know. I'm gonna go home. What? Oh, for for the the question. <laughs> Okay, we're meeting it Steph on like the rooftop. Steph wants to meet me on the rooftop. I think I'm a little behind. I think you are, yes. Um, th the game is a little bit behind, though, so that's fine. <laughs> it's it's a it's a struggling. 
This is definitely gonna be one of those games that I don't touch again until I actually get my, my actual computer. <laughs> Technically, like, one and three-fourths more episodes. <laughs> what date is it? Wow, even is it? What is it even? Even is it? Whatever I end up saying. Oh, Steph DLC too, yeah. Maybe I'll do that, like, once I get the actual computer. Ugh. Not tonight. <laughs> That's fair. Up we go. We'll go straight up. I think it is. It's doing cricket sounds. Otherwise, it would maybe yeah, it would have made me do two two loading screens if it didn't. So I appreciate that it did. <laughs> uh, you said you have some news. I'm leaving. Oh, I'm actually leaving Haven Springs. Can you believe it? Back on the road again. Fucking finally. Oh. Wait, seriously? I'm gonna play music again, Alex. Anywhere I want. God, I forgot how fucking good it feels. We're not gonna say this Holy sucks. Shit, that's me. Steph, that's so cool. I'm really happy for you. You better keep in touch. You think it's that easy to get rid of me? Come on, Chen. I need a new destination. You're my good luck charm. You have shit taste in good luck charms. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, well, that's that one. That's some big shit. What is this, Berlin? The middle of the ocean? <laughs> um. Ocean. Wow, nice pick. All right, tell me about my life in the middle of the sea. Where's she? Congratulations on your new gig, playing drums in a cruise ship band. I can make that work. I'll mix up the dad rock and show tunes with one bikini kill cover per set. <laughs> Nudge some yuppies toward better taste. You could even throw in some originals. Before you know it, you've got the world's first cruise core band. <laughs> cruise core. <clears throat> that sounds like a pretty spectacular plan. Great. Oh. She said then the come with me. <laughs> sure, why not? Doesn't have to be our first stop, but one day. I still have friends in Seattle who book shows. Maybe we start there or I don't know. Kansas City, Vegas, wherever we want. Look, I don't want to pressure you, but I've seen you give so much of yourself to make sure other people get what they need. And I guess I wonder if you've thought about what you need. Oof. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I like you a lot, Alex. You mean the fucking world to me. That's sweet. Kiss! Smooch! You guys got smooch! Kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. So cute. <laughs> Smooch. Smooch. Yay. 
The ship has sailed. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. The happiness is making my computer chug. Wow. That's, that's some pretty powerful happy. <laughs> Yay kisses. You don't have to decide anything now, okay? Do I get to decide later though? <laughs> some kiss, right? Think about it. I will. Thank you. I'm gonna head back down. I hope I either get to decide or that just happens based on whatever ending I get. <laughs> Yay. Hey, Gabe. Can I tell you something? I think I solved it. Why you died. Who's responsible. Isn't that crazy? I'm out of threads to pull. Which is terrifying. Because on the other side of all this, after Typhon, after you, I it's you. just <laughs> normal life. I was kind of counting on you to show me how to do that. But I think I can figure it out. I just wish you were here to see it. Oh. Oops. Yeah. She was saying something like, oh, I guess also kiss Stephanie. <laughs> Again, it's hard to tell when they're done thinking. It's not like, and I don't really like what my eyeliner's doing, or eyeshadow is doing right now, but, um, yeah, like, because there, there'll be a big gap, and you're like, oh, okay, they're done thinking, and they're not actually. Alex. Hi. Do you have the USB drive? I do. It's all here. Gabe's call, their secret plan, the cover-up. You need to come with me to the station. Alex, don't make this hard. I mean, why did you, why were you going to trust a cop? That's kind of not the best choice. Probably isn't how you pictured your first spring festival, huh? Not exactly. Coffee? No thanks, I have anxiety. I'm all right. Thanks, though. Good. Because we're, uh, actually out. Then why even offer it? Pike, why am I here? The long and short of it is, Diane is charging you with stealing her USB drive. What the hell are you talking about? Did you steal this USB drive or not? At least tell me you looked at it. 
I can't. Sorry. You're conducting an investigation into Typhon, right? Everything you've been looking for is on that drive. Despite my best efforts, the case is closed. The order came down today. I did what I could, but, you know, the evidence just wasn't there. Sorry, Alex. The order came down today from who? High up. Bosses, bosses, boss. It's not my job to know. Mm. Look, what happened to my brother wasn't an accident. It was criminal. The files on that drive prove it. That could be true. But let's say it is. The issue is you stole Typhon's property. I can't work with that. I mean, I get it, but also it shouldn't matter. I just handed you a smoking gun. It shouldn't matter how I got it. Maybe not, but it does. Unfortunately, that is Alex, the way the law works. <laughs> you're not thinking about this clearly. Seems pretty clear to me. Diane wants to charge you with computer fraud. That's a federal crime, Alex. Five to ten, easy. You're telling me I might go to prison for this? For five to ten years? It's not that bad. Hey, I talked to her, and despite how angry she is at everything you did, she's willing to let it go. Mm-hmm. On what conditions? If you agree to drop everything, Typhon won't press any charges. Mm -hmm. I see. I see. Why would she do that? She just wants this whole thing to go away. This is how to make that happen. Fuck that. I'm not signing anything. Alex. No. Typhon buried something in the mountains. Something so massive, they ignored Gabe's call and set off the blast just to cover it up. Don't you want to know what it is? What do you mean, cover it up? Another blast, unannounced, set off at the exact same time at the old mining site. And all of it happened just a few weeks before inspections were set to begin. Come on, Pike. It's all right here. She's not bullshitting you. That's legitimately like I said, it doesn't matter. a thing. Alex, please, just sign the form, and we can both go back to the party. No. Alex, this is not an offer that you can choose. I said no. No is not an option. Well, he knows more than he th than he's saying. What are you so scared of? Typhon? See for yourself. Shit. What could be in that envelope? Hello? Alex, please. I don't want you to get hurt. Then help me, damn it. Ret evaluation. Has high level of determination and efficacy? Negative affection... Affectation? What? Has persisted beyond predicted bereavement period. Suspect also appears to have possession of confidential data. They've been spying on her. If 
you mean with Mac? Sergeant met with man I've identified as Ryan. I was with no. Sergeant spent three hours in apartment. Wi-Fi screen monitoring. The searches in his type of history and legal litigation. Sergeant met and spoke with client in the back Black Lantern. It appears subject has stolen an object from the client. So they were already watching her. Assisting Alexandra Chen with her efforts against Typhon, involved in an extremely distraught over accident. Subject has high level of knowledge of both geography and residents of Haven. And Steph, assisting Alex with her efforts, for proving resourceful and dangerous. Is this a threat? What did you expect? Huh? The Typhon, a global organization with billions in revenue, an army of lawyers, and who knows how many politicians in their pockets would just what, throw up their hands and say, you got us. I don't know. I was just focused on getting the truth. The truth? Is that you have no idea? I mean, it's a corporation. Of. of course, they're corrupt and full of shit and gonna do whatever it takes to shit. win. Believe me, I want nothing more than to make these fuckers pay. I've learned the hard way that it's not possible. They're too big, too connected, too ruthless. You can hate me if you want. Call me a coward. But I don't want to lose you like we lost Gabe. Pike is terrified of Typhon. I bet if I took his fear away. I don't. But it's not just about me. Steph and Ryan are in danger too. Fuck. I want to hurt Typhon so bad. But can I really put their lives at risk along with mine? Okay, so here's the thing. Because I know the choice it's going to give me here. Realistically. Yeah, realistically. If this actually happened in real life. So you could. Pretty much do anything that you want. In trying to. Get justice for what happened. And at the end of the day. It still would not ever matter. Because you're not going to get any ground like you're not going to actually be able to do anything because of the legalese and the overreaching power that corporations have like as much as it sucks and yeah you probably have to live and suffer with that for the rest of your life that's probably best case scenario rather than spending five to ten in jail and still living with it for the rest of the life of your life, you know? Like it doesn't really matter at that point what you do. If you're you're gonna be suffering with that knowledge for the rest of your life and not have made any difference. Google opinion. I'm assuming I'm supposed to sign the affidavit, right? Because that's what I was gonna do. It doesn't seem like at any point taking emotions is... Yeah, it does not seem like that's a good idea. I don't think that there's it's going to present me with a scenario. I mean, it's possible, but I don't think it's going to present me with a scenario where I'm going to think that's the thing I should do. <laughs> All I have to do is sign. Yeah. <clears throat> Next marks the spot. Can't turn back now. Time to sign my soul away. Because, again, the thing is, Fuck like, me. whether you try to fight it or not, you're either going to end up in jail and having to live with the knowledge that the corporation did horrible and does horrible things for the rest of your life, including killing your loved one, or you just live with that knowledge and don't go to jail. <laughs> also, and again, like she said, it's not just her at risk here. They're also, like, implicating... Ryan and Steph, and we don't want to fuck them over either. Uh, 
Ugh. Oops. It's gross, but... It really, like, it gives you a lot of opportunities to back out here. <laughs> well, not back out, but look for that. Another thing that lock you out of the good ending. Yeah, it... I'm kind of getting... The kind of... Thank you, Alex. ...thing it's going for here. You did the right thing. Where even though she can, you know, use her empathy to, to understand and feel and be mutual in understanding of emotions and feelings, Taking them away does not seem to be the right method there. I'm very curious what would happen if you did that, but, like, again, not enough that I would want it to go in that direction. I'm, I'm kind of glad it seems like, though, because pretty much every time it's been, like, I'm getting to... You know, I, I kind of make my decision and then you tell me the Google opinion and that was going to be the one I was going to do anyway. Which is very rare. Take away the anger and fear, like both emotions she tackle. Even one or the other, though, is like a lot. Both emotions that would become hers and also have been taken away from someone else. Come see when you get the chance, Jed. Okay. I can't believe this. I had them. How did it go so wrong? I mean, they were investigating I you the no whole time. I have no idea what to do next. So, like, I... Maybe talking to Jed will help me feel better. Like, because you know at that point, as soon as something First, went wrong, they immediately went... I need to get went... out of this dress. Okay, who, who do we need to... to keep an eye on to make sure they don't try to fuck us over. That would have been their first thought. So as soon as it happened, they were already investigating her. So like, there's there's not that it went wrong, it's that it went right for them. It never was going right for her. <laughs> okay, um... Let's see, we have a couple, oh wow, we have a couple to read. I remember this one. So this is, this is Eleanor Fear. This was when we, when we discovered that she has something that is making her brain go. Um, think about those times you forgot what you were about to say or when you went into a room or someone's name you've met a million times. We call it a brain fart, which is a funny term for when all your synapses suddenly malfunction. In reality, it's one of the most helpful feelings there are. There is. There are. <laughs> um, that's what Eleanor felt like in the flower shop, only more. It was a quiet, unknowing terror. It was a special kind of person to hand... Oh, it takes a special kind of person to handle that without breaking down. Eleanor is strong. Stubborn, too, but strong as hell. If I wasn't able to see her aura, I may have never known. Um, I led her out of the fog. Um, what a relief, but then she didn't remember Gabe's death, and my stomach dropped about three stories to the floor. Uh, telling her was agony, seeing it all over again, like it just happened. Was it the truth worth the price? I don't know. Thinking about it now, I feel powerless all over again. Um, Ryan rage. Um, Ryan's anger had teeth. It was a sharp, savage, self-direct. It was sharp, savage, self-directed. This is when we saw him at the, the ravine the next morning. Um, or the morning of the wake. A rabid animal with its prey cornered, and because he was convinced he had earned that anger, he was ready to submit to it, to let it eat him alive. It was strange finding the shape of Gabe in the absence he'd left behind. Um, I want more of Gabe than I got. Ryan got it, a whole Gabe. A Gabe who breathed and took up space. And then the knife, the rope, the ravine, the only things in the world. He hated himself. I told him the truth, that Gabe would have forgiven him, that he wasn't alone. And then we have Ryan Joy, which was that same scene. <laughs> How do I even start? That gold glow, the way the pain and tension gradually fell away from Ryan's face, and then the laughter, the private joy of the moment, 
when Ryan chose to turn a dumb mistake into a prank, the trust he had for Gabe, the love, um, the certain knowledge that he could fuck with Gabe and get away with it, and Gabe would love him for it. I pieced it together, found it in the clouds, the goose, the car, the grave, um, and for just a minute I got to have that sort of relationship with Gabe that Ryan had. I felt so fucking grateful for that. This morning I thought I'd only... I thought I'd ever... What? Only ever known people through their pain. I thought I could live with that if it meant helping people honoring Gabe, but then this joy, like a life raft, a pocket of air at the top of an underwater lake. Um, everything feels different now. Um, Diane, sadness. Guilt sits so strangely in people. All the gnawing urgency of anger, all the pressing weight of sadness, each canceling each other out until you feel paralyzed, stalked to the, oh, staked to the spot. Um, it's a horrible thing to carry around with you, and I wouldn't wish on anyone, but Diane comes close to deserving it. This is when, right when we were about to take the USB. She saw Gabe as a sort of twin, another outsider dragged to Haven Springs who found a way to make the place his home. She actually misses him, feels the emptiness of the space he left. It rips her up inside. But in the face of that anguish, what does she do? Curls inward, fortifies her defenses. That's her focus, saving herself. She could have been so much better than she is, but I don't know, maybe so could I? I tricked Diane, dug up her grief, and fooled her into confronting it. Maybe it was naive to think of this power as basically selfless, but knowing I can use it to manipulate someone like that, I'm not sure I like it. And then Ethan Joy, I'm assuming this is from the, the LARP. Um, I guess I'm used to feeling like the whole world changes when I take on someone's emotions. What Ethan's Joy did to Haven, the way it lassoed the entire town and dragged it into his fantasy, I've never experienced anything like that. I actually felt Alex dissolve, slow off, and underneath it was just Alto. Uh, it felt good to try on a different history, to remember a different life and different world. When the sirens came and Haven snapped back into focus, I didn't think, I don't think Fantasy Alex could have done what I did. Ethan didn't need her, he needed me. That felt good. Uh, Charlotte's anger. Some anger blisters, this is when we saw her in her studio. Um, anger blisters like an old film stock stuck in a projector. It eats up from the inside, eats you up from the inside, melts away everything else until all you are is brittle shell and a boiling mass of blame and guilt. Make some art. It's supposed to help, right? But it just doesn't just fill your shop with reminders of what a shitty person you are. Uh, don't know, don't know how I knew I could do it. It was like suddenly noticing an extra limb, somehow invisible until the very moment I thought I could use it. I could reach inside, find Shard's anger, turn it down turn it off but i didn't i could have but i didn't i didn't know what it would do to her um who she'd be after i took that pain away i felt like such a it felt like such a violation hadn't she earned the right to be angry i was so sure that i was helping people that whatever else i am i could at least offer one thing to those who need it but charlotte's hurt is bigger than me stronger i have to wipe oh i have to hope that i can do more than do more good by walking away than i could by meddling and steph joy um, Steph is good at hiding her feelings. Maybe it has something to do with her LARPing knowledge, uh, knowing how to wear a personality like a mask. But tonight I could tell that underneath the genuine excitement was a vein of anxiety. A tiny voice whispering, you have to deal with whatever comes after. She asked me to leave with her, to see the world with her. And at, all at once, it occurred to me that the wide open sky above us would look just a little different for some other, from some other rooftop in some other place. And for a second, I ached to see it. Little stages and little bars, a whole secret network of strangers waiting to be made less strange, even for a night. But I have that. Do I deserve that? And then Pike Fear. Um, obviously just now. <laughs> there's the threat that keeps you awake at night, all vigilant and terrified. Then there's the one that you don't even know exists, so you sleep just fine. Guess one, which one is more likely to kill you? Uh, I thought I knew what Typhon was, but really I had no idea. Pike knew, and it terrified him. The horror of the witness... The paralyzed audience strapped in and made to watch the same inevitable choreography performed again and again and again. Uh, what have you seen, Pike? Before Gabe, before me. What secrets did you have to keep and how long did you have to keep them? I thought of Charlotte learning that I could swallow her anger, not being able to bring myself to do it. And I knew I couldn't do that to Pike either. Not knowing, not without knowing what it might do to him. So I signed his fucking release. Yep. Rip. All right, let's let's look around. Looks like I'm on my own now. I don't want to drag Ryan and Stefan any deeper. 
Riley probably can't help me hack Typhon. <laughs> Unfortunately. This isn't over, Gabe. I promise. Anything else to look at? I saw, I think the guitar was something. Ducky. Hope he's doing okay. Yep. The tables seem to have turned, all right. How are the turntables? I think I'm all played out for tonight. That's fair. Alrighty, can we, oh, postcards. I guess the night wasn't all bad. Can't wait to have nightmares tonight. Woohoo! Do I get to pick this outfit? Might as well go talk to Jed now. No. I look better than I feel. You've been spring saber tooths? <laughs> Maybe I'll just bike out to the mine. Dig up some answers myself. Myself? <laughs> God, that always surprised me. I'm like, what Feels is that? Like the LARP was a hundred years ago. All right, let's go talk to Jed. Hopefully he has some good news instead of all this bullshit. <laughs> Jed. How's it going? Hey, Jed. There she is. Have a seat. Something tells me you've had a more exciting spring festival than you planned for. You saw Pike arrest me. And let you go, apparently. Then there's that business with Ryan and Steph earlier today. I wasn't sure why it took all three of you to work out Diane's lunch order. Oh, that was weird. I know you're used to looking out for yourself. Gabe was like that. But Haven's a community. We help each other. I want to help you. But first, you have to let me know what's going on. Fuck it. What have I got to lose? <sighs> Typhon killed Gabe. I have proof. What proof? I stole it from Diane. Emails and documents proving there was a second explosion the night Gabe died. To cover something up, Jed. Some secret they buried. The lighting looks so nice even in this potato mode. I, I wish I could is. see it more. I don't even know what to do next. But I'm not giving up. Not ever. I know what they're hiding. Oh. Please, Jed. What's the truth? What are they afraid of? Typhon's the devil that runs this town. I've been carrying their secrets for far too long. I know what they buried in the mountains. Tell me. I'll do one better. I'll show you. Oh. Now it's getting spicy. <laughs> there, 
Up ahead. Where are we? Middle of nowhere. About two clicks that way is the mining site where you search for Ethan. Five clicks that way is town. I don't know what a click is. In that context. What is this thing? I don't know how big it is. Ventilation shaft. So They're scattered everywhere. Over the years, mines grow into mines, creating a labyrinth under Haven. Okay. What you're searching for is down below. Uh oh. He went reaching into his pocket. Chad. Why are you sad? Mm hmm. I'm sorry, kid. Okay. Just put the gun down. Emotional damage! I tried to talk you out of it. Scare you off. I was sure those pictures of Ryan and Steph would do the trick. But you were relentless. Won't leave damn well enough alone. I mean, you don't have to do this. Tell I do. Signed the affidavit, though, so you can't actually ago, say anything. I made a mistake. The kind of thing that you... you can't undo. But Typhon made me exactly. a deal. Exactly. It's, it's, that, it's that moment right now. A way to save my town. Give my boy a normal life. I never wanted Gabe to get hurt. Go to hell. <laughs> Ow. So, like, is he the tippy top? Of the Typhon thing, maybe? Oh. Wow, that was... That was short. Wow, I'm in a minority of who signed the affidavit. Oh, I could have sat on the couch. Oops. Sure, it felt weirdly detached at the festival. I wonder what that could have been. You came in at a very interesting time, Inez. Also, thank you for resubscribing. Um, yeah, we don't know if we're alive currently, which I'm assuming we kind of have to be, but um, we might. Well, Alex just got shot by Jed and fell down a ventilation shaft in the mines. <laughs> so you picked an incredible time to show up. <laughs> um, we might be dead. I don't know if they'd have us play as a second character, but like, I hope you weren't too attached to Alex because we might be dead. <laughs> Um, oh, we could have found Riley at the bus stop. Damn. Oh, well, that's too late. I'll, I'll do that next time we play. Oh, and Ducky was at the festival? I didn't see Ducky. Yeah, I, I messed up the jelly bean counter. That was my fault. You talk to a diner buyer? I didn't see that. God, there was- a, I thought I looked around! I missed a lot, but I, I guess I didn't. Okay, well, she might be alive. She might be alive. We did kiss Steph, though. So... 
Uh, we'll see. Hopefully she's alive. But, um, we'll see. It depends on who we start this out playing as. It'll be in the bot, at least. <laughs> Welcome back, Alex. This isn't real. I'm calling that already. Do you want to talk about your time in Colorado? Let's start with something positive. What did you learn from your visit to Haven Springs? I thought I learned what it means to make a place your home. That must have felt like quite the victory. It did. Let's talk about how it feels to know that you might have been wrong. <sighs> I suppose I'm proud of you for trying. You helped some people chased a mystery got to kiss a pretty girl but Alex you're right back where you started you're wrong I don't belong in here <sighs> if that were true Alex You'd know you were talking to an empty chair. What the fuck? Oh, hey, they're me now. I did call it. <laughs> This is like, we're hitting it kind of early, but this is like the beginning of episode five in, uh, is that what I look like? Four, in one. Really? Life Strange one. Hey, my guitar. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Um, Alex Chen. Right? What the Doki Doki shit is this? My guitar case has never heard of me. Sure. Huh. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. There's a black lantern. I need wine for this trip, right? What was it? Five digits, it looks like? So we should be on the lookout for like five digits. Five or six, maybe. I guess that's me. Five, three, three, two, two. Case number five, three, three, two, two. Um, I want to try that first and foremost, because I don't want to miss this. Oh, jeez. I can't do... This is the controls for this. No. <laughs> Three. Three. Two. Play it. We're not gonna be able to hear it. Can't play if I can't tune. Hmm. Well, that's annoying.
These don't belong to Dr. Lin. What's with the picture of her and Gabe? That ever happened? A tuning peg. The heck? Um, I need that. In light of all the recent excitement, now is a good time to remind the Helping Hands residents that impulses to leave our institution, while understandable, are best resisted. Remember, the outside world is a sharp tooth, is sharp tooth, and possession, and possessed of an insatiable hunger. And you are soft and slow and appetizing. Why throw yourself into its mouth? Throw yourself instead into mine. How did I even get back here? Welcome back and, and welcoming back Alex Chen. I'm happy, though not surprised, that Alex has once more submitted herself to the stultifying and inescapable embrace of our institution. One missing patient answers to Alex. She was always scratching at the door trying to get out, but she's deep clawed, so her capacity to defend for herself is minimal. If spotted, please exercise caution when approaching. She will appear friendly and normal, but we've had some behavioral issues in the past. Please help me find my patient. I'm starting to get really worried. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really clear that she has some, like... Traumatic memories involving Dr. Lin. Thanks. Hi, I see you flickering up there. Can you stop? Um... Emotional instability, occasional violent outbursts, hallucinations, visual, hallucinations, oral, delusional ideation, depression, anxiety, diagnosis, diagnosis, question mark, question mark, question mark. Thrown down a... what? Um, Alex experiences a detailed and robust delusion that she's able to read other people's emotional states and believes that because of this ability, she is un uniquely equipped to help others overcome their own emotional trauma. It's difficult to overlook the irony. Someone as profoundly dysfunctional as Alex adopting the role of emotional caretaker. Had she not been returned to my care, I do not think it hyperbolic to speculate that her reckless attempts at fixing her friends and family would eventually have gotten someone hurt. It's my belief that Alex's delusions constitute a threat to her continued well-being as well as those as of, as well as those of others. Um, as such, I recommend Alex be thrown down an endless pit. Her body shattered upon against each jutting and Erica Brint brick until she's forgotten in the darkness beneath the world. This is, in my professional opinion, the most humane thing we can do for her. Damn. Um, I want to do the guitar first. <laughs> this is Professor Hojo shit. <laughs> Seems that way for sure. It's fitting the vibes. Jesus Christ. You didn't play the tape recorder. I thought that was going to be the thing, not the guitar. She's alive, at least. <sighs> careful. Be really careful. <sighs> they play your really far at the end. Well, 
Well, she didn't fall very far is the thing. Now she did. But before she didn't fall that far. So that's why she was alive at that point. And the, the bullet looked like it grazed her temple. Alex. Gabe? <gasps> You're dead. So? Lots of people are dead, Alex. Most people. Where are we? I want to say... a hospital? Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Yep, definitely a hospital. <laughs> Gabe. Okay, here's what I do know. You are 10, I am 14. Our mother is sick. So is our father. But it's a different kind of sickness. Yeah, we're on King's Cross. Crossing? King's Cross? King's Crossing? King's Cross, right? Play your part. Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. Alex, go check on your mother. Okay. She was right over there, waiting for me. We couldn't afford a private room. Just got lucky, I guess. There it is. The painting that taught me that art sucked sometimes. Gabe and I used to watch cartoons on this thing after school. Gabe, Alex, I need you to listen very carefully. We got some scary news today. And I'm going to be spending some time at the hospital. What? Mom? Are you okay? Hush now. It's going to be okay. Do you understand me? Things will be- She knew. Oops, sorry. Even then, she knew. We spent so much time in here that I basically memorized every article. Gabe told me it was full of needles. It scared me to death. It was always too hot in this room. How many nights did Dad spend in this room, sleeping in an uncomfortable chair and eating vending machine dinners? There's something so weird and scary about watching your dad cry. Hi, Mom. 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 Such a brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? Is that how it went? You don't think you missed anything? Mm -hmm. Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. 
Behave. Did I mess up? <sighs> Alex, go check on your mother. Okay. That's weird. Wait. Did I miss something? Barely. No matter how much Mom drank, her throat was always dry. Seeing anything I could have missed. Other than the water, I guess. She's just on the other side. I mean, I guess I could have missed something in here. It's not actually offering me anything else. Mom. What am I missing? What did we talk about? Hi, Mom. <coughs> Mom. Mom. Water, Alex. Get her some water. <coughs> so I probably actually wasn't there before then. never cried even when you were very small did you know that that's been my biggest challenge with you how do you take care of someone who is already so strong No tears, my strong girl. I want you to make me a promise. Your brother, your father, they are going to need you. You have to be strong. Will you do that, Alex? <laughs> Such a brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? <laughs> Great timing on the on the timer there. 
I was looking over. I was hoping it was going to go up soon. So yeah, reminder. Heavy topics. This is also the last episode, right? So there's going to be probably more than normal. There's the Black Lantern in the background again. Well, there's our obligatory, it's close to Halloween time for Life is Strange. Shoo shoo. Oh, hi. Was that the last time you talked to her? Mom. I... I think so. Do you miss her? Yeah, seriously. Gabe, what's going on? You're 11, I'm almost 15. Dad and I are time bombs. You keep running back and forth, trying to defuse us both. This is going to suck so bad. Play your part. It just went up, but keep in mind, sensitive topics. supposed to be music right now cry at work man yeah not not the best timing unfortunately yeah i would almost say it's kind of more intense about the music It's just me. But you know that's not how it went down, right? my job to keep the peace. 
but no matter what I did. I tried so hard to keep my promise to her. Dad's laundry. I always set it here when it was done so he could find it. At least I managed to hold on to you, Shu Shu. Mom and Dad had this TV before they had either of us. Gabe had barely used this backpack in weeks. Nobody could get him to go to school. Cleaning Dad's ashtray was not my favorite job in the world. It was full of greeting cards. Mom kept every single one we ever got. Thanks for trying, lucky cat. So sorry about saying much, it kind of feels like not time. My job was to sort them in order of how close we were to a collections notice. I wanted to be a werewolf that Halloween. Couldn't afford the costume. I can't believe they were ever this happy. Gabe used to steal Dad's beer all the time. It was like the one thing they didn't fight about. We never really touched these after mom died. She was such a good cook. Two cups water for one cup rice. Set timer for 30 minutes. Do your history homework. Serve. Almost empty. Almost always. Hey Gabe. I'm Leslie Halloran. I'm from the Oregon State Child Protective Services. We got a call from someone who said there might have been some kind of fight here last night. Is your dad home? Oh, gosh. You know what? We were... Yeah, that, that was like, uh, rehearsal. And I'm in this play at school, and my dad, like, he was, um, helping me learn my lines. Must be some play. But if you need anything, my number is on there, okay? Mom's old sewing kit. Don't think I've ever even tasted a butter cookie. Gabe loved Son of Lead back when it was an indie. It was too gory for me. The killer mistress tabs in this book weren't even close to right. <laughs> Alright, everyone, hold on to your butts. Where are you going? Are you gonna tell her? Or is that my job? Keep your voice down. Fine, I'll do it. Alex, Dad lost his job. Again. So we're broke. Again. Don't talk to me that way. Despite what you may believe, you do not know everything. You think what? I laid myself off? It's okay. We'll figure it out. I could, um... I don't know, Dad. But what are we supposed to do now? We gotta eat? We can sell some records. Or or what about my guitar? We can sell that? Alex, what is it gonna take to get you to stop defending him? If your mother could see you now... I don't want to hear about Mom. Babe! <laughs> I'm so tired of you using her as an excuse to be a piece of shit. <laughs> don't fucking touch me, piece of shit. Dad... <laughs> <gasps> Damn it, Alex. I'm okay. It's okay. It was an accident. Alex, I... I, I, I didn't... Dad. Dad, it's okay. Really. I'm not hurt. <laughs> I can't do this. Dad? Someone will come. That woman from CPS. Someone. Dad. I'm sorry. 
Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what I was assuming. Is that he just, he left them. Or took them in himself, basically. One or the other. Hey, can I ask you a question? Hi, Gabe. Which orphanage is this? The one in Grant Park? Kind of thought it'd be nicer. I can't do this, okay? I... I can't. <laughs> you need to. No. You need to be honest about what you see. I was. I have. And now I'm done. Almost. But not yet. You are 12. I am 16. I steal a car and end up in juvie. Gabe, come on. Then you're 13, 14, 15. Orphanages, group homes, Musty rooms in the strange houses of foster parents. By the time you're 17, you, you've seen them all. Somewhere along the line, you start to feel things. Your own emotions don't belong to you. You have nothing. No one. You are alone. I don't want this. Alex. Play your part. Play my part. I used to write one every day. Stupid. Why? You clearly missed him. And I thought he missed me. Hence, stupid. Guess I missed a few days. <laughs> how are you holding up, Shu? The Shu Shu. Always Can't believe there. how long you've had that thing. That thing was my only friend after you left. We weren't allowed to bring glass into the dorms, so we had to drink from this thing. Like hamsters in a cage. Except if you give a hamster a glass, they don't toss it at the other hamsters' heads. Pretty sure it's locked. Must be after curfew. We're not going anywhere. God. They put me on so many meds. Oh my god. No kidding. Jesus. Did any of them ever work? Some of them helped. A little. None of them fixed me. In their defense, mutant empathy isn't exactly in the DSM. <laughs> they used to say this place wasn't a prison. Or maybe they were trying to keep you safe? Mm. Guess so. Whatever the reason, the end result was prison bars. I took a fork in here one time and hid it under my mattress. Just cause, fuck you. 
residents must adhere to their assigned schedules at all times and are not permitted to loiter in the dormitory outside of designated free time. Glass and silverware are to remain in the kitchen. Do not bring these to the dormitory. Non-resident guests are not permitted in the dormitory. Lights out occurs at 9 p.m. every evening. No music, no TV, no screen time after lights out. Here to adhere disciplinary actions. They should have stenciled the same thing on all of us. Yeah, literally. Did you really feel like you were their property? We didn't belong to anyone else, did we? I remember the kid who put this here. Sadie? Sally. Uh, something with an S? You were friends at first, right? Way at first. Then I freaked out on her and she was done with me. Just like everyone else. Fancy. Everyone had one good outfit. We wore them to meet the parents. Did it help? Kind of think you already know the answer to that question. I don't understand. Why can't I have my guitar? We've been over this, Alex. Your guitar stays in the rec room. You can play it during free time. That's bullshit. I don't need it in the fucking rec room. I need it when I'm stuck in the fucking dorms. Alex, that's enough. Maybe we'll just take away your guitar privileges entirely, if that's what you prefer. Is that you can't do help. that! Everyone's feelings were so loud. I just needed something to distract me. Lady. No. Taking away what someone is communicating to you that they need does not help. so much. I just don't know if we're prepared for a troubled girl. <laughs> right. The backslash S for sarcasm. It says here she's sensitive. What is that? <laughs> I wonder why she's never found a home before. She's a sweet girl, but she's not for us. She's awfully old, isn't she? This is the kid that's been in all those fights, right? <laughs> I want to help. I, I really do, but there's just something off, <laughs> broken, wrong with her. <laughs> Oh, don't cut your hands. I guess this point doesn't really matter. I'm sorry. Why? Need to see it. See what? That nobody yeah. picked me? Nobody picked you. Nobody picked you. Nobody wanted you. Mom died. Dad left. I bailed. You couldn't keep us together. It was my job to keep us. You were 11 years old. You were 11 years old. You were a kid, Alex. Let it go. People leave. 
Life gets hard. Sometimes it's a big shit sandwich. <sighs> Make it better. Be angry not, at dad. Miss not a mom. child's job. No, be angry at me. Regulate adults' emotions. But don't give up. No one gets to tell you what you're worth. And no one can take your life away. Fight. I'm not sure I... You have a gift. It's something you don't even understand. You can change the world. Make it better. Absolutely get not. Up. Yeah. What? Get up and fight. But unfortunately, a lot of adults do put that burden on children's shoulders and it's fucked up. Yeah, there's no way in hell you don't have broken ribs, at least. <sighs> mm-hmm. True that. And a lot of the Black Lantern symbolism. Hopefully, oh. not a broken leg. It did draw attention to that, um, that whole thing of Jed, like, saved all these lives and everything. So I feel like it definitely has something to do with that. Whatever, we're gonna find out down here. I've got to find a way out of here. No more ladder. Not that I'd be much good at climbing. Well, if it's life or death, you'd probably be surprised by how good you'd be at climbing. Mines growing into mines, just like Jed said. I'm gonna choose not to read anything into this. <laughs> I could almost laugh if it wouldn't hurt so much. Don't do that. How long has this stuff been down here? A few decades. No, 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 come on, no, 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 no. Go back, go back to the UK. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. And there should be some light at least coming back in the way you came from. A 
Okay. That's something. I don't know how you're doing that, but like, we'll take it. <sighs> that aura is the only lead I've got. I guess items have aura. I forgot about that, so that, that's probably helping a lot. I forgot about the stuff. Having auras. All right, boys, getting close. Held average for life, huh, Jed? Dig so deep, we see where the devil sleeps. Goddamn right. This is it. This is what Typhon tried to bury. A lot of runoff moisture in this soil. Jed, we gotta call it. This dig is fucked. Nothing's fucked. Jed, we got no pumps running. No, my teams have never quit a dig this deep before. We finish the job. Steady goes. Steady. Fuck was... Move! Come on! Clear the tunnel! Who's on radio? Jed! Fuck! Jed! Jed! Oh my god. We gotta move! Now! There's still men back there. They'll drown. Yeah, and so will we if we don't get the fuck out. Make the call, Jed. God damn it. God damn it. Everyone, let's go. Now. <coughs> Smells like fireworks. Must be where Typhon blew the charges. Yeah, on a shitty call he made. That's a weird connection to be having. Jed! Come back! Jed, you son of a bitch! Jed, you gotta stop, man. Jed! Fuck you, Jed! Come back! It's over, Chen. He's not coming back. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Well, yeah, that's definitely, that's what I'm saying, is that that's a weird, like, unexpected connection to be there. Just get back to town. And he was gonna kill three out of four Chens. Interesting. Mm-hmm.
It'll be interesting to hobble back into town in this condition. Are they gonna be having like her and wake? During my time here, I've come to realize what makes Haven so special. No, they're just doing it. It's a flower meeting. shop run by multiple generations. A bar owner who greets every customer by name. It's a spring festival tradition going back a hundred years. I guess this will probably be just overnight. History, probably. loyalty, pride. These values which define Haven are the same values that Typhon was built on. And that is why our partnership has been so successful. It's been my privilege to renew Typhon's commitment to Haven. We believe in this community and we're exactly. I lived, excited bitch. <laughs> for its future. Thank you, Diane. I think I speak for all of us when I say we're eager to make this official. So time to vote, folks, and then lunch. Hi. Hi, yeah. Greetings. I'm here. I made it. I'm not late. Maybe a little late, but I'm here. Alex. Oh my god. I'm fine. You are not fine. We have to get you to a doctor. What happened to you? Dead. I know, we're, we're saying something. I found out something you need to hear. I'm sorry. What? The jet tried Alex, to shoot me in the head. You hurt. <sighs> Do you need help? We can call an ambulance. Typhon's been lying to all of you. <sighs> and so has Jed Lucan. Alex, what's going on? Fuck you. What the hell happened? I was down in the mine last night. I saw what Typhon's been hiding for 12 years. Jed Lucan isn't a hero. That whole story is a lie. Jed caused the accident. And then he abandoned seven of his men. He let them drown to save himself. I know, I was going to say, I feel like we should leave with that he tried to shoot her in the head. There were pictures of me and Gabe down there in the dirt. Because one of those miners was my father. Typhon wanted to keep this covered up in case it jeopardized the vote. All they care about is making more money. They'll do whatever it takes to push this expansion through. So they decided to bury the evidence. And nothing was going to stop that blast. Not even the fact that there were four people up in the mountains. That's how Gabe was killed. Jed knew all along. He covered up the truth about the past, about Gabe. And when I found out, as you can see, he tried to kill me too. Why aren't any of you saying anything? We don't want to embarrass you, Alex. I wasn't asking you. The things you've said obligate me to at least address them. These accusations are, well, they're insane. And trying to go into the mine was obviously a very dangerous, very illegal thing to do. 
but we all sympathize with your situation. You've been through so much. Your brother was your only family, wasn't he? I can only imagine how much you want an explanation for his loss. Something to give you comfort and make your life seem less unfair. Why aren't we talking about you, you didn't know try to go into the mine? The cover up. This is really you annoying. Pike arrest me to suppress like the, the writing evidence. is really Officer bothering me Pike right now. Arrested you for stealing items from my purse. Perhaps you were looking for evidence? And I found it. Which is why you and Jed tried to threaten me into silence. Dad? Do you have any idea what Alex is talking about? You think he's gonna tell you the truth? Why are you asking him? No. I don't. I've tried to be there for Alex since Gabe died. I thought, I don't know. I hoped I could be something of a father figure to her. All I can guess is, sometimes when we're hurting, the people we lash out at are the ones who are trying to help. You tried to kill me. How can you stand there and say these things? Alex. You're a monster. Please. I know this is hard to accept. You won't trust him. You should him. probably mention I did the, too. the bullet. Yeah, this is my least but favorite type of truth. writing trope. Like, there are things you can I say believe that you. will actually help your case. And they write around those to not say those things because they don't want to make it too easy. But it's like, this is really fucking stupid. Like, you have a I believe you too. bullet wound in your head. I'm horrified and shocked and still processing everything, but I believe you. Nails tearing. I need to clip off the end before it tears. I would like to speak. Okay, I've Ducky. known Jed a very, very long time. And, uh, Miss Jen? Alex? I'm realizing I don't quite know you as well as I thought. We've known each other for a very short while, so Some it makes sense. Some allowances must, of course, be made given your injuries and resultant confusion. But nonetheless, it saddens me to hear you make these terrible and incredible accusations against my friend. I've always found Alex to be a very trustworthy person. She wouldn't make these accusations lightly. Something must have happened. Miss Lath, there's no actual evidence of anything. Maybe not, but that's what I think. Yeah, it's incredibly obnoxious. I, this is not the way to do, like, writing for these kinds of scenes. Especially in a choice-based game. How about you? Because you're like... I would be making the decision currently to say these night. things. You know the deal. You're a cop. Do something. Alex, just... just give it up. You coward. <clears throat> yeah. Weird, these episodes are short as fuck. I'm really sorry. Are you? Why are you doing this? Your father shot me in the head. My dad 
is not a murderer. Were you afraid we couldn't get Typhon? Is that why you need someone else to blame? I thought we were in this together for Gabe. Ryan. No. I'm not gonna let you do that to me anymore. Ryan, what the hell? I know he's your dad, but look at her. Why would she lie about this? It's going too far. Yeah, he did. Alex almost died. It's not true. Fuck you, Ryan. After everything? Seriously, fuck you. Stop. Oh, we have reached enlightenment. I know why you tried to kill me. It's not what you tell yourself. That you thought it was best for Haven. This was never about Haven at all, was it? This was about you. I know it's easier not having to think about the men you buried. You want to look away and pretend the people you hurt aren't people. But I won't let you. My father worked for you. His name was John. The world never gave a shit about him. He was always struggling just to get by. He still hoped one day things would be better. But you killed him. And then Gabe, my big brother. He was building a family here, doing it his own way, figuring it out as he went along. He was so nervous about it and so excited. And he brought me here to be part of that family, but he died. Because of you. And then there's me. For so many years, I just wanted to survive. To get through. They even changed me. I started to think about the future. I want to help people. Because it's something I'm good at. Knowing I'm good at something feels fucking great. And you tried to murder me. You would have ended my life just so you wouldn't have to face the truth. Forgotten it, haven't you? You've plastered over it with another story. You tell yourself you're a hero, a strong leader. Sometimes that means making hard choices. Decisions that could lead to people dying. Few men could handle that. Haven's lucky to have you. But that's the lie. If you scrape it away, what do we see? I 
mean, he's not a pawn. He made a decision. Eleven years ago, you led a group of men to their deaths. And you couldn't even say those words out loud. Because you're a coward. You couldn't imagine saying it to your wife. Saying it in front of your son. Every day you were brave enough to go underground and look death in the eye. But you couldn't muster the courage to admit a mistake. I can feel you trying to pull away. Don't. The truth hurts. Sometimes it's so awful you think you're gonna break. But when you come out the other side and you're whole and free and still alive, then you'll finally know how strong you really are. see the truth about you. You hate yourself. You hate what you did in the past. You hate what you've done to keep it secret. And the more you deny that hatred, the worse it grows. I know who you are. I've seen the worst parts of you. Um, I feel like I condemn you is a pretty good way to get a bad ending. And I forgive you. I'm assuming I didn't get the full good ending then. If there were so many I could have missed. Yeah, because I was like, there are obviously missed things if people weren't standing up for me. Local bar owner and council president Jed Lucan admitted in a tearful confession to covering up the deaths of seven Typhon employees as their manager 12 years ago. A recent cover-up, which involved a clandestine and unpermitted explosion to thwart inspections, caused the death of Haven local Gabe Chen last month. Mr. Lucan is currently in police custody, awaiting arraignment. Sliding scale of good. That's good, at least. We will have plenty more about this developing story, including the resignation of Typhon CEO, the market impact, and what it all means for your drive time commute coming right. Your drive time commute. Isn't that just the way it is? These horrible, un unstomachable things yeah. are happening. Here's how it's going to affect your drive to work. I need to get some air. <laughs> The record trader is currently accepting applications. Priority will be shown to applicants. Previous retail slash broadcast experience without an application. Blah, blah, blah. Um, it's definitely applying if you're hiring 16 year olds, but is there a sudden opening? Who left? Nobody just yet, but to be honest, I'm kind of eyeing the egg. I was looking for new adventures. Do I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait? I kind of think I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait. I've got some continued support for you. <laughs> the phrase recent events is doing some work in this post. Yeah. It never ends. 
Jason Frank has been suspended pending an investigation. Please direct all inquiries to official channel channels. I don't know how those happened under your nose. What was going on over there? Not acceptable statement. Nothing but respect for our boys in blue. Oh, there's no way the cops didn't know. They're just there's something not telling us. Follow the money. Yeah. Oh, well, that's the thing. He was part of the cover up at that point. Uh, leave breaking last night. Success. Da 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 da. Was a bullet in this expanding mining operation outside of Haven is temporary fix. I'm going to say it would be unfair. Mental impact. Do, do, do. I'm so seen... sorry. I worried you all. Yeah, has anyone seen Alex today? We kind of we agreed to meet up last night, but then she goes to the super not like her, kind of freaking out. Contact JC. Or the cell, the response. I'll try another one next. Hmm. Right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I bet Steph wishes she could reward that, but it's pretty funny. As many as you know, I'm a freelancer for the Rocky Mountain Gazette. I'm writing an article about this evening's incredible performance at the Spring Festival. I can't track down the band's name. Anyway. Hey, man. hey man, so we aren't like a band as such. We don't really have a name yet. Um, no worries, can I get your names? I'm Steph Bangrit, the brains of the operation. My muscle is Alex. <laughs> She's gonna die when she sees this. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's so many. I make it stop. I just want to get the notifications gone. It was special for me too, Steph. Enjoy that ice cream. Scroll, 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 scroll. Okay, no, I give up. Scroll up. Yeah, no, I, I don't, I, you didn't have my back. I'm not really sure I care to forgive you, to be honest. It's not even so much that it's like, I'm so unbelievably mad at him. It's just kind of like, oh, okay, yeah, no, not worth it. Uh huh. <laughs> Sweet. Now you owe me a job. <laughs> Ducky lost for words. Amazing. Well, yeah, he should be. When did you learn that your father lived in Haven Springs work for Jed Lucan? How did it learn to feel? Oh, this is like a yeah. What your story on ongoing type and coverage. I said, not doing a meeting right now, getting a lot of quests. And then just started asking questions. Jesus. This, this is how you do it. <laughs> well, no, but that's the thing, though, is that I'm like... So, like, oh, if, if we were dating, you'd believe me. Like, you know, you... I'm assuming, yeah, no, because I'm assuming that everyone else can be on your side. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's probably like with Ryan and Steph. I feel like that's kind of the swip swap. Um, but um, yeah, the rest of them, I'm assuming they can agree with you. There were I, I missed a lot of opportunities because I wasn't going as slow. Okay. And, I gotta admit, this is a pretty great feeling. Um. Like, investigating everything. I missed a lot in the last little, the second to last, the fourth episode. Um, but I didn't mean to. I didn't get to see Riley. I was so sad about that. Um, so. After summoning all my strength and. Why? Okay. Willpower. I'm now ready to move from the bed to the rooftop. Yeah, that's the good thing about replace. You have to not sign the stuff. So are you supposed to take the fear or are you supposed to not take the fear and not sign it? Maybe dad deserved everything he got, but I'm still glad we were there with him in his last moments. I love this guitar, but if it starts asking me riddles again, I'm throwing it out the window. <laughs> oh, we're lying back down, I guess.
fishy. I've been playing a lot the last two days, trying to think things through. But I realize it's actually the opposite. When I'm playing is the only time. Take with your and don't sign. Yeah, I didn't know that was an option. Not think about Jed or Gabe or Haven and wanting to move on from the pain, but not knowing how. Most of all, what I don't think about is me. Because I've never been good at that. And suddenly, it's the only question that's We'll do left. a second play, for sure. So, I just keep playing. Um, definitely one of the things where I'm like, at this point, like, before the whole Jed situation, I was like, I can see her being hesitant about wanting to leave or stay. And at this point, I'm like, girl, go. Go with Steph. Like, <laughs> I think that is absolutely 100% the most best option you could take right now. <laughs> After what I went through, the middle of the ocean might not be so bad. Yeah. Whoops. Must be rare that a local paper gets to break out the really big headline. See? This is why I try to only read the art sections. Old and new talent shine at the Spring Festival. A surprising newcomer and a third time, a three time veteran joined together to create a music musical magic under the Spring Festival stars on Saturday. Alex Chen, whose brother Gabe Chen, longtime bartender at the Black Lantern, was killed in a tragic mining accident last month, lit up the crowd with her passionate vocals and, pa and powerful guitar. It's been a long time since I've witnessed a Spring Festival crowd dance together like that, with abandon like that. Um, Noted Jesse McPherson, a local novelist. It was transportive. Seth Gingrich, uh, radio DJ and mainstay on the Spring Festival stage, held down the drums, drums for what the duo claimed was their first time playing together, including even practice sessions. Color this reviewer a tad skeptical. The chemistry was palpable. I think I speak for all in attendance when I say, here's hoping this is the beginning of a new Spring Festival tradition that will continue for, very, for many years. Neat. Um, Betty Lucan currently sits in prison. The cooperative. Da, da, still face. Ba, da, ba. Ha, ba, ba, da, ga. Ha, ba, ba. I'm glad he held on to it for whatever it's worth. They told me to destroy this jacket after the accident. I couldn't do it. Perhaps some part of me knew that I would one day need to pass it along. When Gabe first stepped into the bar looking for his father, I swore I would one day return this jacket to him. Then I swore I would return it to both of you. I think you know by now what my word is worth. I do not deserve your forgiveness, but it moved me more than I knew was possible. I hope this gift will provide some small comfort for you in the days ahead. You ever swing a pick before, Mr... Chen. John. And no. But I... I'm a hard worker, and I learn fast, and I don't mind long hours. Sorry, I'll get to that in You don't have somebody waiting on you at home? No, sir. Well, John, guess you're a hell diver now. Um, I hate that it makes you choose Ryan or Steph to believe you. They can't both. I do think that's a little silly, um, because I get, like... The choice of love interest but i don't think that the choice of love interest should necessarily have those kinds of story implications i feel like that's a little dumb you know like oh this person doesn't value you as much unless you're dating you know that seems a little kind of a shitty message to be sending feels like i've been through so much with eleanor it meant the world that she believed me I'll never understand exactly what happened to me down there, but I'll always be grateful. Wait, interview? I know now that my inaction in the face of injustice was itself a terrible wrong. And I know that I will never be able to undo the tremendous pain and loss I caused. I do not ask for forgiveness. The only person who could give that to me is is gone. Thank you. There are no victories at the end of this. Just more painful truths. 
hard to blame Ducky for remaining loyal to his best friend. It still hurt, though. Yeah, but he was Even wrong. It was hard. I'm glad I let Charlotte overcome her own anger. I think it gave her the strength to support me. Why can't we have love interest and friendship with the other and have them believe us? Exactly! Like, we still put in time for both of them. Like, I feel like we put in an equal amount of time for both of them until that last second, you know, until we decided to give the rose to Steph instead. So I think it's stupid that it's literally like... Like, literally what I said. Like, they, they only value enough, value you enough to believe you wholeheartedly if you offer them romantic interest. Like, that, that seems really, really tone deaf. <laughs> this air was powered by adrenaline that whole morning. Now I'm mostly powered by extra strength Advil and these. <laughs> That's fair. Yes, we're going upstairs for sure. Oh. Hello? Would be the first time life is strange has been toned up. Yeah. Hey, Steph. Alex, wait. Before you say anything, I have to get this out. Okay. Okay. What you did at the council meeting, it was the bravest thing I've ever seen. And it made me want to be brave too. So, here it goes. I want to be with you. I don't give a shit about playing music or seeing the world. Well, I mean, I do, but... Only I was gonna say, you. but like... Backwards. And if you should, rather you stay here her. instead, then... No! Fuck it. <laughs> I want to stay here, too. Your ticket. You ripped your bus ticket. <laughs> I can get another one. Or not. It, it doesn't matter. Point is, I'm in. <laughs> it would be really fun if it could be like, want. that's really sweet, but I was gonna go with you. <laughs> I wish that could have been an option. <laughs> You've, uh, given me a lot to think about. Well, good. That was the idea. Yeah. <laughs> you know where to find me. Good luck, Chen. Thanks, Steph. They're so cute. Also, I wonder what would happen, like, if you don't give either of them the rose, do they both turn their back on you then? You know? Alex, Steph forever. Exactly. <laughs> stupid that's absolute garbage that mechanic is garbage right. just tell me what my future like, hold on i have to pause that for a second because like imagine the whole thing with life is strange games is they're character driven they're story driven a lot of times you you put yourself into the character's shoes and, and that's how you make decisions so imagine someone who's like arrow ace doesn't really have any interest in dating any of the characters whatsoever. And they're just like, okay, you're locked out of the good ending. Like, that's so fucking stupid. <laughs> wow. Okay. So much for this one being better about the whole dating slash romantic interest mechanics in these games. That's what trash. <laughs> The night of the spring fest. Yeah, and like Stephanie Life is Strange is, is usually really good about being head. inclusive and, and at least doing mostly Playing good. Road, but that's bullshit. <laughs> the excitement of the unknown. Of course, that was before all the shit went down. <laughs> Come on, you're the know it all. So tell me. Actually, I do know what you should do. You should stay in Haven. You really think so? Of course. You finally have a home, a job, 
people who actually like you, why would you give that up? To go on the road playing That's music true. with Steph? Seems like a pretty sweet trade-off in my opinion, but also that's just me. Then again, maybe leaving would be better. What? You're young, you suddenly have a little money, friends. And don't you think it's time to give this music thing a real shot? No, you should definitely leave. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, Gabe. I don't need the mysterious spirit bullshit right now. Well, I just he, need... He is kind of a mysterious spirit. I just need my big brother. I'm sorry. I know. Right. Sweet. But here's something. It's three hours from now. A bus pulls away. You're not on it. And neither is Steph. Life goes on. Oh, there's always get a job here. working with Steph at the record store. All those years of being a music snob finally pay off. And little by little. Time does its thing. They are cute. Okay. Hello? The apartment starts to feel less like a museum and more like a that home. That was a really weird big gap. I think it was trying to calculate my answers. <laughs> there are six endings. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah. I think it's trying to calculate all my stuff. Lots of Jed, of Typhon, even of me, begin to fade into the background. Community run establishment. Half her basically access this with Brian slash Steph. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm assuming there's supposed to be also music here. I do feel really bad that I missed talking with Riley at the at the Spring Festival. I feel really bad about that. Like, I knew I could probably find her, but 
I, I got kind of swept up in it and I forgot to actually go looking. So that's definitely the rooftop be is your stage. You perform every week I to a I small through, sure. but adoring group of fans. <laughs> Maybe while you play, you wonder what could have been. Performing for more people in more cities, sharing your music with the world. Well, you know, that's what the internet's for. You can still share music on the internet. Or maybe you never think about that much at all. You don't know exactly when it happens. But one day you look around and find that you have transformed this place just as much as it has transformed you. Looking at these endings, like, these are all okay. <laughs> That's good. There's really weird long gaps in here, though. And the most extraordinary thing of all is just how normal it feels. You don't question it. You don't doubt it. I wonder what might have been. It's your life. The life you fought so hard to have. And for the first time in a long time, you just live. Yay. That may not be the, the super mega ultra best ending, but like, thank sounds, you. Sounds pretty good to me. Don't mention it. You really think I'll transform Haven? Of course. You already have. With your gift, your music, just by being you. Exactly, but yeah. Alex, that doesn't mean you have to stay. You have the potential to do that anywhere you go. Do what exactly? Become an actual musician? Live in a van? Travel between dingy bars? Hawking your SoundCloud? <laughs> pouring your soul to strangers? Sounds pretty great if you ask me. The truth is, there's no telling what that version of your future might be. The only promise is the adventure. So? Um, I don't need. I don't need it all right now because I want to do at least one more one more playthrough before, um, like doing all like seeing what all the endings are. Oh, so I actually get to pick here. I I think she. I think they should go. I think that'd be fucking cool. I want them to do that. I know what I want. As great as it would be to stay and have that that future and everything, why not go seek adventure? That's what I was saying. If I got to pick, like that's what I would want them to do. Hi. Oh no. My friends who actually believed me. Come on, we're doing the thing. The real ones, exactly. <laughs> Bye, the real ones. It's really funny because you can tell there can be a lot more people in there because of how far away Eleanor's standing. <laughs>
I sure wish I knew what most of those were. Those, those left two are definitely Alex and Steph. Oh, and the right two. Loaded in. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Alex Chen. And we would probably be able to hear some music at this point. But, um, you know. Copyright and all of that. Um, well, that was the game. Oh, that's that's kind of cool. At the end, it was just like the one the one major choice. Most people stayed. <laughs> Forgave Jed, denounced Jed. Same sure in the meaning of home. Same sure not fear her emotions was the the most one. Yeah, so everyone in the council, some or no one, which most people didn't get, which is fair. Next, wanted to help more people. Wanted to belong somewhere. Wanted to play her music. Took a moment to reflect. Didn't. Let's see why I went to the vote. Oh, so you can... Actually, you can have an opportunity to talk to him again after the vote. I did not have that. I'm assuming that would have been a thing that it would have offered me. Not that I could have done, because there wasn't really a choice I would have had there to be able to do that. So I'm assuming it was like earlier choices that affected that one. That side with Alex. Alex. Eleanor offered to get Alex help. Yeah, Pike didn't give it up. Lucky remained loyal. Brian, of course, believed Jed, which is most people because why would you not pick Steph? Yeah, Ryan and Alex didn't get together. Steph and Alex leave Haven together. That's a pretty even split between. People who went and people who didn't. Well, neat. That was, I have to say, story, story progression wise, as far as like pacing and stuff. Um, that was kind of weird. Um, that sounds iffy with her. Why would she stay, right? Um, yeah, that was an interesting experience the story was really good i actually liked that it was a lot more grounded um than previous life is strange games um because obviously the first one gets a, pretty fantastical um and two doesn't get two i think has the most like fantastical power as far as it goes but like story wise it's not super fantastical. There are just like the bursts of the moments where the power is relevant and important. Um, but not like an entire tornado taking over the city type of fantastical. But this one was like really super grounded. It didn't really have anything like that. Other than just her using her power to try to understand and, and get more information, basically. Um, I really liked that that was the, the thing. And like the town doesn't believe you at first trope see i don't mind the town doesn't believe you at first trope what i mind is the these are the things that you could say to give the best information for people to be able to believe you but you're not going to say them because tension like she didn't once say jed pulled a gun on me and this is bullet wound and he shot me it, it, it was like they were like oh hey you shouldn't have gone down in the mines. It's like, okay, well, Jed shot me in the head and I fell unconscious down a ventilation shaft. <laughs> I could show you which one. It's probably splattered with my blood, which you can do with a G DNA test. You know, like, <laughs> that's the trope I don't like. <laughs> yeah, the not tell everyone the whole story trope for tension. And it's not for tension, it's frustration, especially in a choice-based story. 
because you would choose to say those things. So it, it, it rests that control from you and it's really annoying. Um, I didn't really have a moment in this game that made me feel like it's faux choices until that point, because that was like, I would be making some choices here right now and you're not allowing me to. Um, because the, the choices that I'm making for what she can say do not matter. <laughs> But anyway, other than that, um, I guess I can switch the, the scene over. Whoops, that's the wrong scene. Um, other than that, I think the game was really good. Um, it was very different than I expected, oddly enough. It had a very different tone than I was expecting the game to have. Yeah, the whole love interest being imperative to the story choice was kind of garbage. There's, there's usually one or two things in Life is Strange games. For the most part, it's like, this is really good. It feels like inclusive and, and awesome to play, etc., etc. But then it usually has one or two things that you're like... I feel like that could have been done better. Or that was pretty tone deaf. There's usually like one or two things, at least, in a Life is Strange game that are like... Big things like that that make you feel that way. But... Yeah, they took people liking the romance and went bad bam ending without it. Exactly, because in Life is Strange 1, it's totally optional. It's more of an Easter egg than anything. <laughs> like, it's more kind of like, well, look, you made the right choices. You get a kiss out of it. Um, Life is Strange 2 was also kind of the same. It was like, oh, if you actually per decide to pursue a romantic interest and get this specific ending, then they show up in that ending. Kind of a choice. Again, it doesn't actually affect the ending, it's just an easter egg in an ending, if anything. And in this one, it was like, you have to romance one of them, or you get the bad ending no matter what. And also, no matter who you pick, the other one will not believe you. Yeah, that's a little trashy, but um, it's okay. <laughs> what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Um, it definitely would have felt like more of a betrayal, though, if... um if Steph didn't believe us. Um, because, like, I guess, like, if you went with Ryan, because I feel like, I feel like just in general, Alex and Steph had a much stronger connection. Um, but we didn't go with Ryan, because why would you? Because you could pick Steph instead. <laughs> they did push you more for the romance in two, absolutely 100%, which does bother me about two. Um, they do push you more towards it, but it's it's still not required for the story, you know? But, um, yeah, this one, they were just like, no, you have to pick a romantic interest. And I think they need to step back from that in future ones. Um, but it was, it didn't ruin the whole game. You know, the game was still really enjoyable and I still really liked it. The characters were great. Um, I do feel like certain ones maybe had more effort put into them to, than others. Like, I feel like Ryan's just like, likable, agreeable, white man love interest. Whereas Steph had, like, character. And it's that's not to say that, like, Ryan was incredibly boring. It just felt like they didn't put as much interest or much effort into his character. Which, to be fair, Steph is a previous Life is Strange character. So she already had a lot of character development. So, like, that that makes sense in that sense. That, they, that she has more work put into her. Um, but, yeah. Um, I guess I'll, how long is Steph's story? It's not really giving me a straight answer. It's giving me, like, with the extra stuff, this is how long the whole game is. Oh. Wow. It's long, apparently. Is it really that long? Is 
it sounds like her story is, yeah, like three to four hours. Wow. So that could be a whole nother stream. <laughs> nice away. <laughs> um, yeah, wow. That could be a whole nother stream. That's wild. Um, maybe we'll do that next week. Um, next Monday. That'd be cool. Um, for now, we still kind of have an hour. Do you guys want to do like... Gartic or words on stream or something like that or I can pull some other game up. I don't really want to finish streaming yet <laughs> We could play some stuff I guess Coral's on her way home, so she won't be able to participate <laughs> It's like they put a before the storm thingy in just DLC that works. Well, yeah words on stream is like um, like a word scramble game um and you just make your guesses in chat or your word options in chat. So it'll give you like, you know, letters and then you can type in chat. It's dumping rain. It was raining earlier. I hope it's actually dumping here because if, if it is, then I'll like open up the windows when you get home. Um, but yeah, words on stream is, yeah, a, like a word game. Do you want to play a word game? Heads up, um, fair warning. Um, there is like a timer on it. So you could only put in so many guesses in a certain amount of time so you could do one guess and you have to wait a while um so it could be a little frustrating should i store or snag us food just we'll snag us food we need to go grocery shopping but not tonight <laughs> um but yeah so if you'd rather do gertig is basically like nine pictionaries going at once and there's no limit on how many guesses you can make um whereas words on stream once you get a right guess you have to wait a while before continuing so if that gets frustrating, we can always switch over. Um, because I don't, I don't, I wouldn't blame you for that. I know, it, I know it bothers a lot of people that it does that, and I don't blame them for that. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, no, for um. Uh, for Gartic, you're just guessing. So it's drawing the pictures in real time. Let's try the word game first. Okay. Works for me. Okay, let's switch over. It should be up. We'll see. It's not. Oh, I'm in the wrong scene. That's why. This one. Man, I keep picking the wrong scenes today. What is up with me? <laughs> so yeah, and literally just type your word, your answer in chat. Don't use like exclamation points or, or anything like that. Just You just put your, your thing in there. I'm also going to change really quick. Um my actual stuff because we're still on words on stream cool and then this Okay. Uh, I'm also going, I need to get my laptop out of my way. <laughs> okay. That's, that's all I need to do. It's out of the way. <laughs> that's all it takes. Uh, here we are. Okay. Um, can I move this? Like so. All right. If we're ready, I'll go ahead and start the round. Pretty sure I can just do this. Oh, I need to turn off that timer. I'm on mobile. I can't scan. You can still do it in chat. Uh. There we go. Like that. <laughs> But then there's like a countdown. So that lock 
Once that lock undoes, like it gets to that lock, I can make another guess. It's like that. Now I can make another guess. But now I can't make another guess until then. <laughs> But you can guess in chat if you have guess, guess, guesses. No, you don't need all of the, the letters. Obviously, the longer ones are worth more points, but. But I can't do anything until it gets to those locks, which is annoying. <laughs> Oh, you didn't take my guess? How rude. Oh, I already guessed halt. That's why I'm doing the wrong word. <laughs> it's all right. We won't we won't get to the next round if it's just me, but <laughs> This is a word once it lets me yes. It is a word. Neat. But yeah, so that's why like it's it's more of an interactive stream type of thing because like I can't it, obviously it's not enough. Well, there's only one H, so it's not health. Thanks, Jacob. <laughs> Unfortunately, your guess was late. <laughs> it's all right, man. We can try again. It's all righty. Um, I think it's restart to restart. Yeah, there we go. So we can try again. I need to try if I want to play. <laughs> we can play for a bit when you get back. We can we can keep it up. Spicy. <laughs> um. Nice. Hmm. Interesting. Wow, I'm drawing a blank. Nice. What? I got the big word. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Oh, yep, that's a good one. Sip. Oh, yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't take three letter words. Um. Yeah, well, we made it past this level at least. <laughs> I used to be a lot better at this game than I am now. Or this game. These types of games. But... What? Um, I think it's start again? And, and, and I'm assuming it's gonna get harder as we continue. Because that's how Gartic works. <laughs> oh, is it not start? Is it continue? There we go. Um Okay. Uh I I nabbed that one from you. <laughs> ah, 
Ah, there you go. Wow, she got the big one. Good job, Coral. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Triple bird score, indeed, so fancy. Will it will it take nicknames for Final Fantasy characters? No. <laughs> That's a word. It didn't take that, but that is a word. Wow. I'm drawing a total blank right now. Unfortunately, we got that one already. <laughs> uh. Oh, nice. Taco cat? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, no, my brain keeps seeing coat and I can't get past that. Tant is a word and it won't take tant. For some reason. I guess it just doesn't like certain words or doesn't want to give all of the possible words because it'd be too easy maybe? I'm just putting shit together. It gets to that point sometimes. Nicknames. Okay. Um... Why do I get to this point where I just like I can't process the letters? Like my brain won't make anything of them. I guess that works, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm just not gonna keep going because I literally, my brain has completely given up on me. I'll wait till the next turn, the next one. <laughs> my ba brain is absolutely giving me nothing. <laughs> Should have been one. I guess that's ling. That's like slang. But I feel like that should have been one. Brain frying. Literally the pan frying sound. <laughs> that was the first one I guessed, but almost I guess. <laughs> Is that not? Fake letter? What? Did I just see fake letter? Attention, there's a fake letter? Okay, well, it's F. So don't guess anything that has F in it.
Can I guess yet? I can't, okay. <laughs> well, I guess it shows the lock. Nice video, oh, God. Good. No, Coral, the F is fake. Yep, I've hit that point where my brain is no longer continuing. <laughs> got to the point where my brain's like, nope, you got the words that you can think of, and that's all you get. It could be Peepo! <laughs> that deserves a scoots. <laughs> oh! You got one in at the last second, Coral. <laughs> you snuck that one in there. Noise. Oh, okay, there's a fake letter again. I don't know. Um, where's my phone? You just want to go to El Taco? <laughs> that sounds good to me. Oh, so okay, one of the letters that you put in there is fake. I think it's the M. Yeah, I think it's the M because M, M words aren't going in. For sure, go for it. <laughs> Jump on in. Actually, that literally is a word, isn't it? It is. <laughs> nice. Bro, got the big one. So I guess it doesn't show you the um the fake word until you get the whole word, like the big one. I mean No, I, I know it's showing the letter. I, I'm saying that I don't think it shows it until you get the full word. I, I mean, I figured out it was M, like, really, really early on. But, like, it doesn't show it on the top that it's fake until someone gets the, the big word, the full word. <clears throat> okay, another fake word one. I think that's gonna be the norm now, probably? It shows on some time at the timer. Okay, well, I'm assuming it's S in this one. Because none of the other words with S counted. <laughs> Coral and I with the two different beats. <laughs> No, didn't think so. <laughs> um. I have a hard time because my, my brain tries to like use the S because it sees it.
I keep, I keep, even with it blocked out, I keep wanting to use it. It's like, no, that's not a word. <laughs> oh, I can't guess yet. Oh wait, yes I can. It just doesn't count beta. Rude. Oh no, someone already got beta. <laughs> I looked, I didn't think I saw it on there. <laughs> It's two words. Hell yeah. Um. Hello? <laughs> Can I type? <laughs> All of the... Oh, there's a hit. There's a fake letter and a hidden letter? Oh, no. Um, okay, well. It's G, I guess. <laughs> Maybe... Nope, it's not an A. <laughs> oh, it's an O then. Tron, Coral. <laughs> I'm getting all the little ones at the end. <laughs> I typed. <laughs> I mean, I guess it is what I typed, but not what I meant to type. <laughs> yeah, no, you shouldn't be doing it while you're driving anyway, Coral. <laughs> a shot. Oh, I think it's the M again for the fake one. Or, or I guess it could be the A. It's the A. Wow, it changes fast. That doesn't count? Why doesn't that count? <laughs> Five letters, gotcha. It did not help us at all. It didn't give us the fake letter at any point. <laughs> I was hoping it was gonna. There it is.
Nope. <laughs> well, 16's not bad. <laughs> Especially for the first time I was playing around. <clears throat> Not bad at all. It was, yeah, the last one got really, really hard. Um, do you want to keep doing words on stream or do you want to switch to Gartic? <laughs> yes, that was the feeling exactly. <laughs> But yeah, because we could switch over to Gartic if you guys want, or we could stay onwards. What do you guys want to do? My brain's fried either way. Or fired. Go get ready, have a good night. Thank you. Music man! <laughs> and go get some good sleep. You played that version and not the, the remix version? The remix is definitely better. Okay, well, no one's saying anything, so I'm gonna switch over to Gartic. Because I like Gartic more. Um, I'll take that. There you go! <laughs> you found it! <laughs> there we go. Oh, I'm gonna change the thing. Um, over here. I don't want to leave it words on stream so people come in expecting that. <laughs> they're very similar, but at the same time, they're not. So we'll swap that over. Okay, this one's this one's pretty easy to kind of get the the gist of. Once it gets going. And this one, there's no limit on how many guesses or how often you can guess or whatever. If you get one, like, you can keep guessing. <clears throat> as much as you want. There's no time limit on it. So if you guess like two, just happen to be guessing two in a row, then um, you can do that. Like that. <laughs> wow, I wasn't doing this good last time. Yeah, I didn't do this ball last time, I will say that much. Geese. Whoops. Um... Oh, I think I saw this one last time. No, I guess not. <laughs> Some people go way too hard on these.
Nick! Um, oh, that's the end of that one, I think. Yes! There are a couple of these that I feel like people kind of purposefully don't do well to make it harder. <laughs> Sometimes they can be two words, by the way. Not always, but sometimes. Um. <laughs> oh, well, that was actually right. <laughs> Okay, well, if it's either of those things, I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Not doing so hot on this one. But a lot, okay, a lot of those, we guessed so many that they should have been. <laughs> Honestly, sometimes I feel like they make bad drawings on purpose. Like they make it the most obscure possible thing just because they can. <laughs> yeah, I tried that one too and it wasn't that. Last time we did Garchig, we struggled to get past level four. And the one time we did, we did pretty good, but it took us a while to get there. What is a boat but a reverse bowl? <laughs> color came, I was about to get a guess and the color came and I was like, nope. <laughs> okay. Table last time, didn't we? Is it just table? No? Oh, shot. <laughs> oh, if I could spell right. <laughs> There are some of these that are really stupid, I must say. We barely got that. <laughs> wow. Um... 
Okay. I made attempts. <laughs> Oops. What? <laughs> Get in my face, bug. I don't know what the bear is supposed to be. Ah, <laughs> oh, rip. Rip. There were, uh, uh, God, there are some of them that I just, I couldn't even begin to guess on. I mean, well, the thing is, I do actually guess. I begin to guess. And I'm wrong. <laughs> oh, okay. Sure. Yeah, I love when we get ho. <laughs> um. Oh, that was actually that. <laughs> oh, oyster. See, I thought clam. Why? Well, okay, sure. Um. <clears throat> Dead person. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Okay, well, we ba we barely squeaked by on that one. Hmm. No? Oh. 
Whoops, that's not right. No? <laughs> Oh, flash drive. I was like, USB drive? <laughs> oh, see, I was thinking late. I was thinking too big. Friendship. Cute. <laughs> it was the friendship. Whoops. Okie dokie. Um... I don't think that's how you spell that. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, no, that's not turning into that. <laughs> Sidewalk. I stopped looking at that one. Coral, I think you're really far behind. <laughs> to toe beans. Yes, it's definitely toe beans. Yeah, you were really far behind. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> oh, I was actually right. Jesus. Um... Hmm. Lagging too much? Yeah.
Uh, well. Hmm. What on earth is that top middle one? <laughs> what are there most of these, honestly? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> well... <laughs> That was, that was just, that was a sad round. What round that? It was level four! Of course it was level four! It's always level four. Level four is just... A bitch. Is that actually it? looking at <laughs> hmm. oh nice Well, if I could spell. <laughs> it's still wrong. It's fine. I, oh my gosh, I can't spell right now. I can't type. Well, we did it. <laughs> um, yeah, those that, that middle, middle bottom one was... Baffling. I tied? We tried? It's always trying all the different versions of things. <laughs> uh, no? Okay, sure. It's not that then. Let's say it's not that then. <laughs> that or is it 1m well either way it is not that <laughs> um 
Hmm. Aw, oh, damn it. We didn't even get to level 4 that time. We usually at least get to level 4. <laughs> Some of these are hard, man. It's brutal. <laughs> Did you hear the mirror link? Does it do that? Because I've, I've just been playing it on the stream. Like, on the stream preview. So that there's no, like... Extra stuff. I'm about to get soaked. Do you need me to come out and meet you, or...? <laughs> um, I'll do that after the round. I didn't know I could do that. No? Okay. I don't even know how to spell that. <laughs> happening right now. <laughs> Just a moment. I guess it's starting on its own. I did not start that, it just did its own thing, so... There you go. <laughs> no, I know where it is, I'm trying to test it. Inez, you're leaving. Okay, sorry, I didn't get to see your um, um, your goodbye message. Um, I'm assuming you need to go to sleep. So yeah, go get some good rest. Get your sleep. Um, hold on. <laughs> Okay. 
God, I forgot to unmute for a second. <laughs> um, we actually just passed four hours, which I wasn't paying attention to. So um, after this round, I'm actually just gonna end the stream because <laughs> I've been up, I've been up here for a while, and it's it's time to go get some food and and relax. But next time, now that I know I can do mirror link stuff, um, I will actually I've, I've made a, a chat command for that, so I'll do that next time <laughs> because I did not know that was an option. <laughs> so thank you, uh, Can Mama Play, for learning for learning me that, for teaching me that. <laughs> That's a new, that's a new one for me. I'm gonna go over here. Okay, that was good. Close that out, yes. Leave, goodbye. Okay. Yeah, no, it's it's time to, to wrap it up. So, um, next stream is Thursday. Um, I'll be continuing Amnesia Rebirth. Um, I don't know how long that game is. I think, I think I should be finishing it on the next stream. I'm pretty sure. Um, and then more Phasmo on Saturday. Um, so yeah, thanks to everyone who was here and, and hung out and played along and all that fun stuff. Um, and I will see you guys on Thursday. I think that's all there is to say about that. Yeah. So I'll see you guys on Thursday. Enjoy the rest of your, your week, your next few days, whatever, all that fun stuff. Yeah. Bye. Bye everyone. I forgot. Wait, that's great. Bye. <laughs>